Hello everyone and welcome to De Papier et de Rêve. I'm Ursula and today I will be painting in my sketchbook with you. I'm using my sketchbook in two different ways. Uh, first one uh, to get memories of a certain moment and the second one to try things and uh, play with colors and play with technique just for fun and to discover something. So today I will be using my sketchbook for memories uh, and I will paint a, a photo that I took in uh, during a walk in Stockholm. Uh, the photo representing um, some garden, I think it's sharing garden uh, and it's totally lovely and I want to have this memory in my sketchbook. It was a very dark and gloomy day, so my photo is not uh, very good and very dark and uh, very contrasting. So thanks to my sketch, I will be able to get a better memory of this scene uh, because I can add light uh, with watercolor. I'm always changing my style of uh, sketching uh, in my sketchbook, but today I'm using a pencil to draw some fine lines and uh, marks on my paper, and I am coloring it with watercolor. Six months ago, I've already uh, painted in my sketchbook uh, in video, and uh, you can follow the link uh, to watch it if you want. And I was using a um, pencil, uh, water resistant pencil to draw first and then coloring with watercolor. But now I'm more into painting with watercolor and using texture and effect with water uh, more than uh, drawing a perfect drawing before. But you'll see later, I will use a pen to make some more details. On my reference image, I can see uh, a garden with a lot of uh, trees and bushes, uh, a small cabin and uh, a fence at the foreground. So in my painting, I've kept the cabin completely white because uh, it's a, a yellow cabin. So I have to keep it white for now and I will be coloring it later. Uh, but now I'm concentrating myself more on the bushes and trees around the cabin. And for the fence, as it's a darker fence, I can paint uh, underneath without any problems because uh, my fence still will be shown at the end. For now, you have no idea about the fence because it's not there, but you will understand. As it's uh, beginning of fall here in Stockholm, I can play with a lot of green, different greens, and I can add some touches of red in my greens to give this impression of fall. For my greens, I'm using mostly uh, ultramarine blue and Queen Acredon gold. Uh, it gave uh, uh, a bit toned down green, so it's very uh, interesting for this uh, season. Um, and if I add a bit more ultramarine blue, I will get a colder green. And if I uh, mix a little bit of quinacridone gold, I will get a warmer green. But if I want a very brilliant green, I can use also uh, viridian, which uh, will give me a very bright and yellowy green. While I'm adding the fence and some details to my painting, I will tell you a bit more about my sketchbook that I'm using right now. It's a totally handmade uh, sketchbook. I've used uh, Sander Waterford paper in 200 GSM uh, because uh, 300 GSM is a bit too big uh, to bend, so it's better with uh, this size of paper. And I've cut my paper, my sheet of paper in the size I wanted and um, made my sketch, uh, sketchbook on my own. 
There is a, a reason why uh, I'm doing my own sketchbook. Uh, it's because uh, most of the sketchbooks on the market are in uh, cellulose paper, and I do not like to paint on cellulose paper. I way prefer painting on 100% uh, cotton paper. There is some sketchbook in uh, cotton paper, but they are with a spiral binding, or they are way too expensive. I've tried many of them and I was uh, always finding something wrong with them, so I make my own. And I have to say also that I love doing those things myself. I, I love uh, crafting uh, and creating things. So it was easy for me to, to sew the paper and making the cover. There is a ton of tutorial on YouTube on that matter. So yeah, it's easy to do. And uh, if you have a little bit of time to, to do those things, uh, you can get a nice sketchbook for half the price of the market. But let's go back to the painting. Uh, during this time, I've been able to add some depth and volume on the trees. And that's why I do like the cotton paper, because I can add layers and layers and build my painting uh, step by step. And I cannot do that with cellulose paper as I reactivate the paint underneath each time I put another layer. In fact, my way of sketching is quite similar to my way of painting normal painting as I'm doing regularly on this channel. Um, I'm just playing with water and texture and making some color bleed to another. I'm just playing right there with color and with my painting. I'm not taking too much what I'm doing and I, I'm not aiming for a perfect painting. I'm just doing my thing uh, slowly and as I want. And I don't care if I don't get a nice painting at the end. Hopefully it will be nice, but it's not my main goal. My main goal is to get my memory on the paper and play with it. And now let's talk about supplies. My brush is a Raphael Petit Gris 803 number no. 2. And I've also used a fountain pen Lamy Safari with a waterproof ink. The color are ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, viridian, quinacridone gold, Verona gold ochre. Scarlet Lake, Burnt Sienna, and Neutral Tints. And for the paper, as I said a little bit before, uh, it's a handmade journal with Saunders Waterford paper. And now I've taken off the masking tape around my painting so I have a nice and clean edges and I'm just adding some details with my fountain paint so that uh, the uh, cabin, uh, as it's my uh, center of interest, uh, will pop a little bit more with some details. And my watercolor sketch is almost done. I do like a lot uh, the way of adding uh, small details with my foot and pen at the end. Uh, I think it looks nice and I will use it uh, again on other paintings. And this video is now ending. Thanks for watching. I hope you like it. Uh, don't forget to check the blog for more information about this painting and um, let me your comments in the comment section below. See you soon.